In this video, we're going to explore the template um, repeat tool. And I just have this little flower um, on the screen. If I select it, you'll see that it's about 1.7 inches by 1.72. So it's not very large. You're not going to want to use a really large design for something like this. But let's go ahead and take a look at um, what we can do with the template repeat. First of all, I'm going to make sure that my ruler is in inches so that I can see everything in inches. So if you see it in uh, millimeters, you might want to right click on this ruler and go to inches. It just makes it easier when we're inside of this template or any of these repeat tools. And so when I click on the template icon, you can see that this dialog box appears. And in here is where I can select different templates. And you can see this little dotted line here going in between these flowers. And that's the template that is chosen. You can see that it's putting the flowers on the template and um, kind of spacing them out. So let's take a look at some of the other template options. So you have this template that's kind of more in a U shape. Let's see what the next one is, template three. Um, it's just a little bit more rounded. Let's go to template four. You can see that it kind of gives you the little corners here, kind of like in a basket shape. Um, let's hit apply here for this template. You can see these are just the different options that that you have available. And you can see that's kind of like more what you would think like a necklace going around something. And then let's go to this final one um, right here. You can see that the templates are you know preset and you can uh, modify things once you get the template set. So the, using the template you want. Template properties and design properties are what we'll focus on. And in here, the the template properties has to do with um, the size of the template. So if I wanted this to be much bigger, like let's say, not, let's say like a 400 millimeters and hit apply, you can see that um, you don't see much of a difference right here, but it will be spread out. Um, and you can keep the aspect ratio or not. So that's just an option you have. Let's go down to 150 and hit apply. You see, I'm not gonna see a difference here. It would be more when it loads. Let's go into design properties and let's do, um, you can have the design offset a little bit. Right now it's just set at 50. If I do 75 and hit apply, you'll just see that it's all based on this offset of this line right here. So you can see that it just raised it up. 50 was just right in the middle. If I go to 20, you'll notice that the, it, they'll come down here on that line. See how that works? So that's something that you can adjust. I'm gonna put that back to 50, and uh, that's how that offset works. Now the scale, this is at 100%. If I change it to 200% and hit apply, you're gonna notice that it's just going to affect the design because we're in design properties, so it's making it much bigger. That might be something that I want for this design, and I could actually um, increase it right here, which is nice, but I'm gonna go back down to 100. And those are basically the options that you have to work with with the templates. So the first thing you do is you choose the template that you want. Um, this one might be a little bit popular um, for doing some things. Um, I could see some applications for this. Um, but you can come in here and you can adjust the template properties and the design properties as we saw here. And once you're ready to go, you just hit OK. And it's going to bring this design in at that template, as you can see there. So that's how the design templates work. Um, you can play around with them. You'll see that every object is located inside of here. If I wanted to group them all together, I could select it and make sure that group is there, is selected and is. That's ungrouped, that's grouped. So if I select one, it's gonna select them all and I can move them together. But that is the templates tool that you can use to kind of arrange designs in an order that um, is a template that's provided. So hope that um, you play around with that and we'll see you in the next video.